clickbait. You know what I'm talking about. Tons of articles out there, and their number one goal is to scare the hell out of you. Like this one. Here is the alleged full list of illegal cancer-causing shampoos. Is yours on the list? Ooh. In fact, this and a bunch of other articles like it are hell-bent on convincing you that your shampoo, soap, and body wash is going to kill you. Dun, dun, dun. Well, we're going to verify whether those claims are true with the help of DC dermatologist Dr. Noel Sherber. Now, this whole thing centers around an ingredient in some soaps and shampoos called dithanolamine. For years, it's been considered a possible irritant and even an allergen. So some people get rashes when exposed to this ingredient. It's derived from coconuts, so it's a surfactant, which means it suds up. So we see it in shampoos, in hand washes, in body washes. But in animal studies, it may be linked to liver tumors. And that's why a nonprofit group called the Center for Environmental Health is fighting to get shampoos with dithanolamine, also called DEA, off of store shelves. Now this ingredient is included in California's Prop 65 list. What is that? That's a list of chemicals on a state registry that are known to be harmful, but not outright banned. Now the FDA feels differently about this chemical. Dr. Sherber telling me their official position is that it is safe for human use. So do you need to look at your shampoo labels and then potentially throw it all away? Well, there's so many great shampoos on the market. I think if it concerns you, switch to a different shampoo. If this is the one shampoo that has ever worked to make your hair its most beautiful and gorgeous ever, well, try to limit the amount of time that it stays on your skin. All right, so let's look at this headline again and verify. Is this ingredient illegal? No, we can verify that that is false. Is it cancer causing? Well, it's been known to cause cancer in animals, but no cases in humans. So we can't verify this. California says yes. The FDA says no. Okay, so is it safe? Should you stop using it? Again, Dr. Sherber says switch shampoos if you're concerned. Otherwise, just limit the amount of time that it stays on your skin. Now, we got this story because somebody emailed our Verify at WUSA9 account. If you see something on the Internet, on your social media feeds, you're like, this can't be true, or I just straight up don't know. Send it to us. Email me. Find me on Twitter or Facebook at Adam Longo TV. Send the link along with it, and we'll bring it to the air and verify it for you. Now to some three tips.